Hi, it's Steph, and today the plan is to refresh these two large containers on my front porch. A couple months ago, I started some Cosmos, which are an annual, from seed, and my plan was to use them in most of my containers for the summer. Cosmos are a beautiful plant, but it turns out they're a little scraggly when it comes to planting them in containers. So I wasn't, you know, I kept pinching them in hopes that they would get bushier, but I wasn't thrilled with the way that they're looking. And as our summer has been really hot and really dry, they are requiring me to water these containers about twice a day, which is quite a job. So in the last week or so, I've decided that it's time to get rid of them and swap them out with a plant that I can transition into fall. Here's a closer view of what these Cosmos are looking like. The foliage is looking really dry and crispy. Honestly, they just look like a big old weed. So let's go shopping and let's see what we can find to replace these. Look at this fun fall decor that Lowe's has in their garden center. I do like the summer, but at this point when we've had such hot dry weather, I am ready for a little reprieve that the fall offers. And this is getting me really excited for the upcoming season. Check out these beautiful pumpkins. So pretty. They're heavy ceramic pumpkins, but you would have these for seasons to come. Let's see how much they are. They have this beautiful cream and some orange and some blue, even some that are painted like a little fox. This size here is a 9.44 inch and it's $32.98. So it would be kind of an investment, but if you're a person that buys pumpkins, real pumpkins every year, and you wanted something that you buy once and have for years to come, this could be an option. They even have the larger ones. I'm gonna see if I can check the price on those. So these really large ones are 13.9 inches and they are $59.98. These plants here really have a lot of fall colors in them. They looked tropical to me at first, but then I noticed, look at these cute little containers that they're in. They can certainly pass for a fall plant in a fall arrangement. Let's check this out. So this is a porch perfect container. It's croton in there, or croton, depending how you say it. And um, they're hardy to zone 10. So yeah, these once you start getting some frost, they're not gonna be hardy. But for that very beginning stage of fall, these would be really pretty. And how much are these? Did it say how much they were? Let's see, oh, they're $14.98. But you could also keep this container afterwards. It's, it looks like it would be like a galvanized steel, but it's actually plastic. They have another one that looks like a pumpkin over to the side here. Here in the back of Lowe's where they have their clearance, when I was doing my Shop With Me video that I recently posted, I noticed that they had put some of these sage leaf willows on clearance. And I had been kind of watching these for several weeks. And when I spotted them on clearance, I went ahead and I picked one up. And as I was editing the video, I thought, well, I think I need to go back and get another one. So now that I'm here looking around for some stuff to replace my front containers with, I went ahead and grabbed another one that looked to be in pretty good shape. Look at this foliage. It looks like a lamb's ear. And this is what attracted me to this plant in the first place. I had seen it at a friend's house during a garden tour and it was absolutely stunning. And so I was so happy when I finally noticed that they had them here at Lowe's. So here's the tag information. It's Iceberg Alley Sage Leaf Willow. That's what the shrub looks like. It says it's great for pots and containers. It is a full sun exposure, three to six feet tall and wide. And drought, I'm sorry, moisture tolerant, which is great because the location I put it in is a wet spot. And willows typically like water, so I think it's going to work out well. And I really love this foliage. And so the price on this is 20, 
$7.98, 50% off. So it'll be about $14. And here's what I picked up at Lowe's. I got one more of those sage leaf willows and we're gonna do one more stop so we can see if we can find something for the porch containers. Next stop, I'm at BJ's Wholesale. This is kind of like my Costco. I don't have a Costco near me, so we go to BJ's. And I noticed that in front of the store, they have these really cool ornamental grasses. And I think this will be a really good replacement for my porch containers to transition to fall. So these grasses are like one and a half gallons, like really good sized containers. And they're only $9.99, which I think is a really fair price for this. Um, they are annuals. And in my zone 6B, they don't come back because I've grown purple fountain grass before and it hasn't returned for me. But they have two varieties of grasses. They have this Hamlin, which actually Hamlin is perennial. Look at this. I have a Hamlin as well. So this one here is a fountain grass. It forms an upright mound of arching green foliage and it gets 18 to 24 inches high and it blooms August to September. In blooming, I'll show you the blooms. Um, it's the plumes that they send up. And it's hardy in zones five through nine. So what a deal on these. These are the blooms, these really pretty plumes. For $9.99, for this size Hamlin, really good buy. But I'm gonna go with this one here, the purple fountain grass, because I like the color of it. And this one here is, let's see, Penicetum rubrum fountain grass, a drought tolerant grass that forms tidy clumps of burgundy maroon, blade, maroon blades, topped with rose red flower spikes, blooms July through October, full sun, 30 to 36 inches high in zones 8 through 11 they're perennial and because I'm in zone 6 they would not be perennial for me but look at that beautiful color I think I'm going to love these on my front porch for fall so at $9.99 I'm gonna go ahead and pick up two of them I was also really tempted by these um, for some of the other pots on my front porch but they are not looking the greatest to the three that they have left but they are also only $9.99 and this is an Echabecchia, which this is kind of something new that I've been seeing recently. It is a cross between an Echinacea and a Rutabecchia. This one is called Summerina Orange, and it's bright orange, large red flowers with rusty orange and a halo, blooms June through October, full sun to part shade, 20 to 23 inches, and zones four through nine, but really pretty. got bored waiting for mom but here's where I'm picking up two of these purple fountain grasses lots of other pretty plants annuals that you can use for fall they have some of this celosia with the dark foliage some mums I think this is lisianthus it is Look how pretty that is Carmen blue and these are $10.99 for these nine inch annuals. They even have some basil. And look how pretty the color of this celosia is. It's like orange, really nice. So your BJ's Wholesale, if you have one where you live, they have a really good selection right now of mums. When you buy mums, because we are still only in August, well, we're heading into September, but in a couple of weeks, you wanna buy a mum. It's nice when you can kind of tell what color it is, but get something that's really tightly budded so that you can get a longer season of bloom out of it. Gorgeous foliage on this. Um, this is called Celosia Dracula. Really pretty. There's no blooms on it yet, but the foliage is really, really pretty. They also have six inch mums at $3.99 each. The yellow seems to be the most tightly budded, but I really like this color at the bottom here. Look how pretty. But not a bad price. And here we go. Let's get these containers updated with these beautiful purple fountain grasses.
because I had pretty new soil in here, the top layer I refreshed when I planted the Cosmos, I'm actually just recycling the potting mix. What I did was I used my Hori Hori. This serrated edge is great to break up the roots. So I broke up the soil, loosened it all up, put it in my bucket to make room to insert the root ball for the grass. And now I'm using that soil to pack the grass back into the container and finish planting it. I also have some of this Creeping Jenny that I had placed in my annual containers earlier this spring. A friend had shared some with me and I tucked them into the front of all of my annual containers. But it was getting intertwined with the Cosmos and it wasn't really growing. So now that it has more space, I think it's going to drape in the front of this container and look really nice, uh, the yellow against this brown. Well, we are all done with our porch pot update. And I think this was a great improvement over the Cosmos that we here before. And it's going to transition into fall really well. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up button and please consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future videos and we'll see you soon.